Okay, on this video, I'm going to show how to add another email address to see the messages right within the Gmail. So this is the main Gmail that we're in. So I'm going to go and click see all settings and then I'm going to click accounts and import. Now we've already synced the ability to receive emails um, from another external email address in here through the SMTP outgoing mail server. So we can send emails as this email address basically from Gmail. So now we want to see the emails that are being sent to this email within Gmail instead of logging into the website itself. So to do that, we're going to go check mail from other accounts, add mail. So here we're going to put the same email that we are currently sending as. Now we're going to make sure that we import emails from POP3. Okay, username is the full email address of the password whatever you used to check the emails on that account and then now the pop server maybe two things it may be mail dot domain name port 110 uh, which is unsecured or change to 995 which is secured and then change this to let's try this instead uh, we're gonna leave a copy of retrieved server we could yeah let's leave it so that way this email address is still gonna make keep that uh, email. actually no let's let's not do that always leave us secure leave one coming messages as media yes and Let's add the account. Let's see if it works. If this doesn't work, we have to change the POP server. Okay, so there was a problem. Connection closed by remote host. Here to make connection, please contact. Okay, so let's try this again here. Let's try using mail.domain name. And we're going to change this to 110. Okay, still that does not work. Okay, let's try. POP. And one ten. And that seems to have worked. Okay, so there it is. So it's now checking email. So again, the server is pop.ionos.com and the port is one ten. So now it's gonna do its thing. We're going to log in. To that email address just to compare and make sure it's all working correctly okay so there is a test 524 and there's a reply to media at so let's see if that works let's open another browser so we can check And there it is. So now I'm logged in as Inventive Gmail, but I'm seeing this, and you can see it says media at inventivekits.com. So now I should be able to reply from Inventive at Gmail, or I can click media at Inventive. And now I'm gonna send to myself this is a test sent from inventivekids.gmail.com using alias media at inventivekids.com. And let's see if this works. 
I'm just gonna delete this whole thing and just compose a new message. Compose a new message from Gmail to Marson. Oh, actually, let's send it as media. And then this, and then we're gonna send another one. Did I send this correctly? Okay, so I sent as media at Invent of Kids to Marson. Okay, that's what I want. So I gotta log out of here. And it worked. From Invent of Kids at media and event of kids to Marson. So now if I reply, I'm replying right to the same email address, which is media hello test. I should receive it in my Gmail. There it is. Reply to media at, and there it goes. It worked. 